This morning, the Atlantic hurricane season enters day two. Forecasters predict fewer storms this year, but they also warn a quiet season can produce a devastating hurricane. Mark Strassman is in Miami, where researchers are creating their own storms in a state-of-the-art lab. It could end up saving lives. Mark, good morning. Good morning. This tank gives scientists and the rest of us a view no one has ever had before. What a hurricane's power looks like at water level as it storms ashore. In just two minutes, scientists here can take calm waters and turn them into a monster hurricane. The wind is gradually getting stronger and stronger as, it, as it's coming up here and it's ramping up to a category five. It's probably about a category three right now. This 75 foot long tank is the first simulator in the world capable of creating a category five hurricane over water. Brian House is the director of the University of Miami's new laboratory at the Rosenstiel School of Marine and Atmospheric Science. What was it like when you cranked it up the first time, full blast? It was, it was uh, stunning. I mean, it was, <laughs> it was chills. Nearly 40,000 gallons of seawater fill this tank. House uses a computer program and a single 1,700 horsepower fan to whip wind speeds up to 157 miles per hour. This tank is the, the largest wind wave facility in the world. We can generate an extreme Category 5. House and his team want to understand why some hurricanes make landfall and fizzle out, while others become catastrophes. It's the heat of the ocean that powers the hurricane. We know that gasoline drives a car, but if you didn't know how much you were pouring into the, into the engine, you wouldn't know how fast it's going to go. What this is going to help teach you is how the gasoline gets into the engine of the hurricane. Exactly. Their focus is storm surge. Rising waters historically caused nine out of ten hurricane-related deaths. During Hurricane Katrina in 2005, storm surge killed 1,500 people. Dr. Rick Nav, director of the National Hurricane Center in Miami, has high hopes for the new lab. It's very rewarding as a scientist who tends to look at the atmosphere, mostly via computer screens, to see a real live laboratory. For years, forecasters at the center have relied on computer models to predict a storm's course. Hurricane hunters have flown into storms and dropped probes to gauge its intensity. Research like this in a laboratory is one of the critical pieces we need to perhaps lead to more accurate forecasts and warnings. Gut level tell you this thing will be a lifesaver? We are going to find some, some things that are going to change the way we forecast hurricanes and because we can do it better, we can save lives. I'm standing now on the roof of the tank. Below me, the hurricane has grown louder, more powerful, a raging Category 5. See that model of a beach house? Notice the relentless storm surge of the Category 5 as it storms ashore. Seeing that might encourage some coastal residents who typically stay put, try to ride out a storm, to evacuate the next time the big one comes along. Gail? All right, Mark, I know you're safe, but it made me nervous just looking at that. Thank you very much.